All right, guys, this is the last lock from the box that Alex from LA sent to me. This is an old, I hope you can make that out, a very old Eagle lock company. It appears to be a desk lock and it does come with a key. It's only, it looks like only a four pinner. This is not the original key refit lock. So somebody had this recut. Um, when it locks you, or when it unlocks, you have to turn it all the way around and then like that. So it takes a 180 to lock it or unlock it. So there would be, you know, this, in the drawer or something there, there'd be some little hooks hanging down, I suppose. It's my guess. Anyway, um, yeah, it's got great bidding, but one thing Eagle always did right was the keyways. And this is, <laughs> this is one of their better achievements, I've got to say. Look at that. It's going to be very difficult to reach. If there's only, it may only be a four pinner, but it's not going to be a rake job. I can tell you that. There's no way a rake will fit up inside of there. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this dude open. Back this up a little bit. Put him right here. Oh, it is locked. So, all right. Need a tensioner. The red one will not fit. Let's try the white one next size up. Maybe the red one will fit. Nope. First guess. Always right. Well, unless I'm picking screwdrivers or torque spits. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to pick it. Well, you have to go clockwise, I think. I don't think it will turn counterclockwise. Nope. It only goes clockwise. All right. Um, in order to get in this keyway, though, this is the trick. So I need a pick that can squeeze around warding, and this is a ten thousandth by rare element. And he, not even he, will go all the way to the top. I may have to partially go through and pick from the bottom at kind of an angle to partially pick them, and then hope when I move to that side and start trying to pick the rest of them that I don't overset if there's low cuts. And you saw the key there definitely are overcuts or low cuts. So shut up and start picking, Bill. All right, let's do a partial first. I can't feel anything. Even that 10 is getting pinched. I'm caught. Yep, that's not going to work. Great keyway. All right, so if what you're doing isn't working, try something different. And the something different I'm going to try will be this guy, and I can't go from the bottom. This is a 15th. I'm going to have to go from this side. So since I'm going from that side, let's just take this tensioner, put him down there, and see if that... I'm going to go all the way in the rear, release all pressure to make sure things are as far down as they will go. Then... Again, it's getting pinched in that other turn. So I'm basically just putting where I think the pin is and putting pressure to see, but I can't determine if it's uh, binding or springy. So I'm, I'm forcing it. I'm guessing. That's it, I'm guessing. That's the technical term. Okay, that is not working. I have pretty good tension on the lock, and this is still getting pinched in that warding. All right, let's try another one. This, again, this is very flexy. I think this is a 12,000th. It's not quite as much hook as it. Oh, let's try that one. That's about the same. Let's try this 10,000th from that angle. Yeah, he's getting pinched too. Get in there. That was a nice click, and I felt a tiny turn on the core. I don't know how. There's another click, but no turn on the core. These could be oversets, or it could just be that pick falling off of the warding. It's impossible for me to say. Nothing.
Oh, man. I'll take it. Guys, I don't know how. Um, Master Lock, if you're watching, you have four pin locks. These are all standard. I got no, I mean, I, uh, I'm guessing. I certainly didn't feel any counter rotation. I didn't feel any crunchiness would be indicative of a serrated pin. So uh, as old as this lock is, I would suspect that it's all, uh, I'll, we'll just keep turning it to make sure we got it open. I'm pretty sure we do here. Keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, then the pins fall down. Anyway, master lock. Pay attention. If you, you guys already have uh, four pin locks, all you got to do is change that keyway to something like this. And there we go. It is open. And you get a lot more pick resistance. Um, I don't know. I was not feeling anything. The, the shaft of the pick, even the 10,000th pick, was getting really pinched. Even when I was picking from that ledge there, you can see how that would get wedged up inside of there. They don't give away anything on this little four pin lock. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Alex from LA, thanks for all the locks. I will be boxing everything up along with a bunch of other goodies I think a collector might appreciate out of the lock lab and I'll get it to you in the mail today. Thanks guys.